Hi, my name is Olga and I'm with Semaphore. Today we're going to talk about Canary deployment, what it is, and how to deploy your first Canary. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. So first of all, what exactly is Canary deployment? In software engineering, Canary deployment is the practice of making stage releases. So we roll out the update to a small number of users first so that they can test it and provide feedback. Then, once the change is accepted, we roll out this update to the rest of the users. The idea of using a Canary as an early warning system has a long history. Long before Google or Netflix used it, coal miners would carry canaries along with them to the mines to detect gas leaks. So these little birds, more susceptible to odorless fumes than humans, when they would pass out, people knew that it was time to get out. So releases versus deployments. A canary release is an early bird of the application. Splitting stable and development branches is a widespread strategy in the open source world. So companies would publish a canary version of their application or product, hoping that tech savvy or power users would download it and try it out. In a canary deployment, we split the users into two groups. So a small percentage of these people are gonna go to canary while the rest stay in the stable version. And later on, we can decide whether we want to roll everyone to Canary or roll back the changes to a more stable version. So how does Canary deployment work? Canary deployments involve running two versions of the application simultaneously. We'll call the old version the stable and the new the Canary. We have two ways of deploying the update, rolling deployments and side-by-side -side deployments. So let's see how they work. In a rolling deployment, we install the changes in waves or stages, a few machines at a time. The others continue running the stable version. This is the, mo the most straightforward way to do a Canary deployment. As soon as the Canary is running on one server, a few users begin seeing the updates. So as we grow confident in the Canary, we continue installing it on the rest of the machines until they're all running the latest release. Side-by-side -side deployments. With side-by-side -side deployments, instead of upgrading the machines and stages, we create a whole new duplicate environment and install the Canary version there. Suppose the application runs on multiple machines or containers, a few services, and a database. To make the deployment, we clone the hardware resources and install the updates. Once the canary is running on the new environment, we show it to a portion of the user base. Once the deployment is complete, we remove the control environment to free up resources. The canary version is now the new stable. So why would you want to use canary deployment? The benefits are many. A-B testing. We can use Canary deployments for A-B testing. So in other words, we present two alternatives of the same app to the users and see which alternative gets better reception. Capacity tests. It's impossible to test capacity in the large production environment. With Canary deployment, capacity tests are built in. Any performance issues that we have in our system will crop up as we slowly migrate the users to Canary. Feedback. We get invaluable input from real users. No downtime. Just like blue-green deployments, canary deployments don't involve any downtime. Easy rollback. If anything goes wrong, we can easily roll back to the older version. Planning the canary. There are a few things that we need to take into account when planning a canary deployment. Stages. How many users do we send to canary first and in how many stages? Duration. How long are we planning to run the canary? Canary deployments usually run for minutes or hours. Canary releases can take longer as we have to wait for enough clients to be updated before we can assess the results. And this can take days or even weeks. Metrics. What metrics are we going to use in order to evaluate our success? Well-chosen parameters are essential in a successful Canary deployment. Strategies for migrating users. So once we have decided on the stages, we also have to pick up the users that are gonna participate in the Canary. So we can choose randomly, so we just send a percentage of users to a canary by random chance. We could deploy by region, so we could deploy a canary in one geographical area at a time. For instance, we could go with the follow the night strategy, where we deploy during the night time um, when there are less users in line. Early adopters program. This might actually be the best strategy to offer users to opt in or opt out of the canary because early adopters are more likely to offer quality feedback. Dog fooding. This actually comes from the phrase, eat your own dog food. 
and this is where you offer Canary to internal users and employees first. Downsides of Canary deployment Nothing is perfect, and neither is Canary deployment. Here are some of the downsides of Canary deployments. Frustration The first group of users using Canary will find the worst bugs. What is more, they might get frustrated that we use them as guinea pigs. If you're worried about this, think of starting an early adopters program. This will give users a chance to opt in or opt out whenever they're willing to. Costs. It's more expensive to run deployments side by side because we need more infrastructure. So use the cloud to your advantage and consider adding or removing resources on demand. Complexity. Having many production machines, migrating users, monitoring the new system, these are all complicated tasks. At all costs, avoid doing them by hand. Always automate the deployment process using a CICD platform like Semaphore. Time. Setting up a healthy Canary deployment pipeline takes time and effort. On the plus side, once we get it right, we can do safer and more frequent deployments. Conclusion. The real tests come when real users start using the software. Canary deployments allow us to do control trials with real users. When we combine the strategy with a fast CICD workflow, we get a productive, feature-rich release cycle. And that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we are going to be sharing more videos about everything CICD. And happy building!